Greyhound messes up or delays, it might get really interesting. We're three hours late now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another vlog. We are here in Lexington, Nebraska, in the middle of f***ing nowhere in the United States. I, when I say nowhere, I mean nowhere. We are actually on a two-day bus right now to Chicago from Las Vegas. We started in Los Angeles. We've been road tripping across the U.S. in a bus, and then we're heading off to New York. And essentially, this is just me talking a little bit about what the experience is like to road trip across the United States in a bus. Actually, this journey we booked, it was $150, taking us all the way from Vegas to Chicago. You have to switch three buses. One, get on Las Vegas. Another one you switch in Denver, Colorado, where we switch today in the morning. And another one we switch in Omaha, Nebraska later tonight. We're actually not on a Greyhound anymore, which is who we booked the trip with. Uh, we're now on an Aero Stage Lines coach bus. I believe later on we'll be switching back onto a Greyhound, so I'll be able to tell you guys about this. This bus is super old. It's got a bathroom in it, like one plug for every couple seats. It's kind of smelly. The journey's going pretty okay. It's an interesting way to travel across the United States if you want to see stuff from the ground without flying. And yeah, we're going to continue the journey right now, and I think I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Omaha, Nebraska, and we'll talk a little bit about it. But yeah, this is what the middle of nowhere in the United States looks like. We'll see what happens. Let's head on the journey. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just made it to Omaha, Nebraska, in the middle of nowhere. We got one leg of this journey left all the way to Chicago. Uh, that was a crazy like 12 hour bus ride. So now we're gonna head back into the terminal and then we're moving on to Chicago. I gotta say, it's been a really interesting experience taking these buses because we stop in all these random places across the USA. I've never once in my life imagined coming to Nebraska, never desired coming here at all. Not not because of anything bad, just because it's never really been on my map. And so it's, it's been pretty cool, pretty much traversing the entirety of the United States. So we've now circled the globe from Europe all the way to Asia, and now we're doing it on the other side of North America. So it's very exciting stuff, guys. Omaha Nebraska, the city of uh, uh, Paternkos. Anyway, so our next bus is now booked for a night ride, and that means that we'll be taking the bus through the night. I think it's about seven or eight hours, and then we'll arrive in Chicago. Thank you. All right, guys, so we've made it on our bus to Chicago. This is it. We got 18 hours, I think. We'll be there at 5.30 tomorrow morning. We got one more stop in Iowa on the way, which will be cool. Mark off another state on the United States. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey continues. Welcome to Des Moines, Iowa. I thought this whole time this place was pronounced Des Moines. I don't know, Des Moines? Something like that. We're in the middle of gosh darn nowhere. We're getting closer to Chicago slowly. Uh, we got about a 15 minute break here. This, this whole journey is very reminiscent to me of the Trans-Siberian. Uh, just maybe a little bit easier because we're in the US, so it's not reliant on like crazy Russian food and a lot of ramen noodles. We're just heading over to a gas station right now. See if we can pick up some snacks for the journey. And also we have a viewer in the bus with us. I actually got recognized that we're sitting like in front of one of my viewers, which is really freaking cool. So shout out to you. I think your name was Jose. Shout out to you if you're watching this. Whatever we buy, we gotta do it quick. All righty, snack mission is a success. We got 15 minutes on our bus. Let's go. <laughs> After three days of not showering, we have made it to Chicago at 7 a.m. That was an insane journey. Hey guys, so we're here in Chinatown in Chicago. Let's take a walk. So this is part of our kind of cross United States journey. We have uh, now made it to the giant city of Chicago. You can see the whole downtown's kind of behind us. And tomorrow we head out on our next portion of the journey, which is gonna be to New York City. So we have now went from LA to Vegas, Vegas to, oh, Vegas to Colorado, Denver, Colorado. And we went to Utah and then we went to no, Utah was before. We went from Vegas to Denver, Denver to Omaha, Omaha to Chicago, Chicago to New York, New York to Miami, hopefully. So we're just preparing here. This is our last day in the city. We've been exploring the city and stuff, making a bunch of cool videos out here. It's been cool. This this kind of cross United States journey on Greyhound buses and stuff, is it's really doable. It's not the cheapest option, right? Because we spent 170, 
crossing the country so it's not the cheapest cheapest option but definitely for being able to see a bunch of landscapes and stuff it's very very cool and uh definitely yeah cheaper to fly though cheaper to cheaper to fly for sure but you can do the, what we're doing by flying so anyhow that's chicago that's gonna be the wrap-up for chicago we're gonna see you guys tomorrow morning we're heading out from chicago to new york city all right ladies and gentlemen we have made it to the greyhound station here in chicago we've printed our tickets we're getting ready to board our bus to New York City. So guys, just a heads up to see how this works. Essentially, you come to the bus station, you have to check in. Um, and if you have a bag like ours, you go and check it in this front desk that I'm showing you right now with wonderful B-roll. And then eventually they will call your gate. So we're gate 13 all the way down there. And so soon we're gonna go line up and wait to board our bus and uh, go to New York. All right. You guys heard the lady. We have been sitting here an hour and a half over our time waiting to board this bus and we are delayed on our way to New York. And so uh, we're getting to experience the first Greyhound delay, which is fun. So just chilling out here, being depressed. We're three hours late now. All right, Moshe, after six and a half hours, Finally, boarding. It's, it's finally time to board. You might, you gonna get back on this bus to Baltimore, Maryland, and Cleveland. I'm gonna let everybody else out. We're driving on nuts. I'm gonna take over. So we gotta get everybody off the bus. This is the bus you gonna get back on to Baltimore. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you. Same thing, New York City. New York City. Yeah. Six and a half hours, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it on the bus. We're now driving to Cleveland, which we'll have our first kind of stop, and then we're gonna go to. Baltimore, make a switch, finally get to New York City. Gary, South Bend, Toledo, Pittsburgh, Blue Ball, and everything. This will be your bus. Anybody's going to New York. Hi, hey, Monty. Good morning. Hi. Yay. This uh, supposedly 24 hour bus journey that was supposed to be simple to New York has turned into us switching buses about five times now. Three more bus switches to go. We are currently in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's like uh, 10 in the morning. We've now boarded a bus directly to New York with stops in like New Jersey and stuff. Let this be a testament to you guys. Uh, if Greyhound messes up or delays, it might get really interesting on your journey if you're doing something like this. Let's continue the journey. Hopefully by the end of the day today, we should be in New York City. Philadelphia. Uh, I thought I'd mention something quickly about the bus. Some little pro tips for you. Uh, one thing is that there's a bathroom on most of these Greyhounds and it's actually kind of nice. Every single one of them has been pretty nice. Never really super dirty or anything. Um, and as well as a little tip for you, if you manage to get on the bus early, you can snag the back seat, especially if there's not a lot of people. And I've just been passing out there because it's like a three-seater and I just have like a little bed. This is our last stop before New York City. So we're gonna hopefully board the bus again because it's just refueling now and finally cross the United States from the west coast to the east coast. Hopefully this journey will end tonight. New York City, that's how you go across the United States on Greyhound buses. We did it, boy. So we're in Georgia by Peach World 2018. Today we finish our drive to the state of Florida, which will officially finish the circumnavigation of the world. Boom bang. Ladies and gentlemen, after one full year, your boy's back in Florida. That is the end of this video that we have recorded over the course of three weeks now. How's it feel to be back in Florida? It's hot. Neither one of her excited, let's be honest. You can already feel the humidity of Florida. Oh, we got about a uh, few days, a few more days commute to Miami. So a few more days till we're home. Or maybe a day or so. 
But uh, this is going to be the end of this video. So essentially just to give you guys an explanation of what we did from when we last left you guys off when we entered New York. We got a car that somebody needed driven down from New Jersey to Orlando. And uh, we have friends all over Orlando so we were like perfect spot. So we drove all the way from New Jersey. We're right here in northern Florida now. We're going to drive to Orlando and uh, essentially drop this car off. It was a free way to get back home. Essentially, all we had to do is pay for gas. These Florida birds are being extra Florida birds today. Uh, and, but that's it. That was our road trip across the United States using Greyhound buses pretty much. This last part doesn't really count. Uh, this is just kind of me outroing the video. So pay no attention. But we did get from Los Angeles to New York using Greyhound buses, which is cool. I should also mention that Greyhound did refund me money. Uh, $53 for the journey that we did from Chicago to New York because it was such a hellish journey I contacted them on Twitter kind of called them out and they refunded me the money So that's cool. So I got that credit now, uh, but we're gonna end that video there uh, We're gonna give you guys an, um, an English word of the day. We're gonna, we're gonna call we're gonna say bus You know what a bus is? Now you do. <laughs> these, these English words are getting so bad. It's pretty exciting times guys. We're at the end here. So we'll uh, see you in the next one. Make sure you check out thetravelingcloud.com if you wanna if you wanna buy some shirts, support this channel, maybe get some merch, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video from us. Welcome back to Florida, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in the next one. I love you a long time. A uh, goodbye.